hi beauties welcome back to my channel so today's video is eight ways to boost your self-confidence so number one ways to boost your self-confidence is to stop comparing yourself i said it in one of my self-care video yes you have to stop comparing yourself you know one thing that comparison does to us it shifts us away from knowing what we can do how good we are and then bring that person we are comparing ourselves to and by doing so we have demonetized ourselves we have disqualified ourselves that we are no of any good and then we start looking to that person we are comparing ourselves maybe that person is even faking it trying to make it as if to say that they are better than us so we have to stop comparing in all ways comparison is very bad i keep saying this immediately you sit down to think that someone else is better than you who is she who is he i so much believe that i am much better than whoever that is around me i so much believe that i can do much better than whoever it is so let us stop comparing ourselves because comparison is very very bad it leads to self destruction it leads to self-hate it leads to self-inferiority because you will be like oh she is this she is that she is this she is that why am i not that sis love yourself and one thing you will know about self-confident is we are nobody is born with self-confidence it is something that will build gradually in ourself so don't think that, ah, because this person, you know, she's good in doing this, she's good in doing that. You'll be like, oh, she's born with that. Nobody is born with confidence. Confidence is something that will build. It's like going to school, you are learning how to do this, how to do that. It is the same thing with confidence. So don't think that someone else is better than you. And don't even compare yourself, sis. You are good the way you are. You have to believe in yourself. So number two ways to boost your self-confidence is to do what? Is to surround yourself with people that have positive thinking. People that are full of positivity. Because they will see that potential that you have in you. But if you surround yourself with negative people, sis, they will never see something good coming out of you. They will tell you, ah, you didn't do it good. Ah, why are you like this? Oh, you have tried better. But if you, if you engage yourself, if you surround yourself with people who has positivity in them, they will bring out your potentials. Even when they see that you are, you are failing, they will still encourage you. Because positive friends, positive people will encourage you. They will not bring you down. But if you surround yourself with negativity, with people that are full of negativity, sis, <laughs> you are doomed forever because they will keep telling you, oh, you are bad at doing this. Oh, you didn't, did, you didn't do this good. Oh, you have done it this way. You have done it that way. So eliminate yourself from people who are full of negativity. People who have this negative energy. Always go for people that has positive, people who are aiming higher. People who believe in as much their struggle, they still believe they can. So, sis, surround yourself with such people. So, number four tips on how to boost your self-confidence is to take care of your body. Take care of yourself. Check your diet. Do exercise. Have enough rest. Because this, all these things will also help in boosting your self-confidence. If I sleep so good, you see me feeling good. You see me feeling on top of everybody. So always take care of yourself. Check your diet. Make, your, make sure that you are eating healthy. Exercise if you can. I struggle with exercise, but I try as much as I can. So you have to take care of your body. Because sometimes if you see people who, are, who their body are better than you, it can lower your self-confidence. That is why you have to take care of yourself. Be okay with the way you are. Don't just dump yourself believing that, oh, oh, did this and that, did this and that. No. Take care of yourself all round. When I say take care of yourself, not only your, you know, you know, the way you look, but take your mental self, take care of your health, take care of your physical self. 
it helps in boosting our confidence. So number four tips that I'm going to give you is to be gentle to yourself. We are human beings. Mistakes are bound to happen, but don't be too harsh. Don't be too hard on yourself when you make a mistake. Don't be like, definitely, I know it's going to be like that. Why can't I get this thing right? Sometimes you cannot get it right because you are a human being. So don't be too, too hard on yourself. It lowers your self-confidence. So if you want to boost your confidence, even when you fail, tell yourself that that is not the end of the road. Pat yourself, tell yourself, sis, I know you can do better. Shut that negative thinking on your head. Tell yourself, yes, I know that I fail, but I can do better. There is still a chance for me to improve. There is always a room for improvement. So be gentle to yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. It lowers your self-confidence. It lowers your self-esteem. So number five tips on boosting your self-confidence is self-affirmation. You all know me. I love self-affirmation. And there are two types of self-affirmation. It's either positive self-affirmation or negative self-affirmation. Who goes to negative self-affirmations? It lowers your self-confidence. It brings your self-esteem down. That is why you have to stick to self-positive affirmations. If you know all those good words, all those goodies, talk it, tell yourself. I am smart. I am good. I am pretty. I am lovable. I am everything. All those positive self-affirmations, keep saying it to yourself. Anytime you feel down, it is natural that sometimes situation will make us to feel down. But let self-affirmation keep popping on your head. It will help you to, uh, to boost your self-confidence. Like I said, nobody is born with self-confidence. It is something that will be gradually. So always stick to positive self-affirmation. It's going to boost. It's going to increase your self-confidence. So number six tips that I'm going to give you is to face your fears. <laughs> Sis, we are so scared of challenges. When difficulties, when challenges come our way, we tend to withdraw ourselves. We tend to stay away. But we have to face our fears. There are some things that maybe I will be like, oh, can I do this? Let me just give it a try. At the end of the day, I will be like, wow. You see, I couldn't believe that I can achieve this. Okay, I opened my YouTube channel, for example, since 2016. But says the fear of being judged, the fear of, you know, pressing that record button, the fear of talking to my camera or talking to my audience made me not to. But last, last two years, I think, or last year, no, last two years, I pick up my camera. I said, I'm going to face my fear. I'm going to face these challenges. Look at my, look, look where I am today. Dancing with 1.5K subscribers. Could you imagine that? Had it been I didn't start this YouTube, I wouldn't have met you all. So since it is good to face our fears, that is the starting of our self-confidence. Immediately we'll achieve that. Even if we fail, we'll tell ourselves, we have to start all over again until we achieve that. So facing our fears is squarely, not asking for help here and there or being scared when it is going rough. When the going gets tough, the tough keeps going. Since we don't want to be the fearful ones, we want to be the tough ones. So let us face our fears. It helps us to boost our self-confidence. What it is that you have been planning to start? What is it that you are planning to do for a very long time? You keep procrastinating. Face your fears. At the end of the day, you will pat yourself and say, wow, I never knew that I could achieve this. So facing your fears is one of ways to boost your self-confidence. So number seven tips is to do what? Whatever you are good at, go for it. 
anything, if you're good at drawing, if you're good at public speaking, if you're good at whatever you are good at, if you're good at cooking, if you're good at applying makeup on your face, whatever you are good at, go for it. Because by the time you accomplish that task, you will see one or two people telling you, wow, sis, you are very good at doing this. And when you do what you are good at, it will boost your confidence more. It will even make you to do more. It will make you to explore more things. So whatever you are good at doing, sis, go for it. It boosts our self-confidence the more. Number eight tips that I'm going to give you is to do what? To set boundaries. Be it in a relationship, be it at a place of work, whatever, wherever you are, you need to set boundary. You have to learn how to say no when you cannot. You have to stop being people's pleaser. Because it reduces our self-confidence. For example, people coming closer to you or maybe asking you for one or two things. And you, they know that ah, you are oh yes member. You keep telling them no problem. Immediately you shut, your, you shut your door, you will be like, my God, why is this person disturbing me? You have to set boundary and let people know your boundary. So that they will not cross your boundary. Whoever that is crossing that boundary you set, for me, is an intruder. Because there are people who they don't even care about how you feel. All they want is something that they can get from you. And anytime you don't want to do something for somebody, but because you are oh yes member, you will force yourself to do it. So when you set boundary, people will respect your boundary. And when people respect your boundary, it increases your self-confidence. Because you can say no to somebody without feeling guilty. Or oh, maybe the person will be feeling bad. No. Set boundaries and stick to it. It boosts our self-confidence. It helps us, you know, to increase our self-worth, our self-esteem. So beauties, here comes to the end of our video. Hope you learn one or two things. Self-confidence for me is very important as a lady, as a mom, as a wife, as a friend. So if you enjoyed this video, kindly give this video a thumbs up. Comment, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. And I will catch you in my next video. Stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.